Now I know what you're gonna say. Minion, we've seen this footage before. Why not you why don't you get us some fresh footage? I wanted to, but unfortunately right now the PTU is uh, broken and I cannot pull out the reclaimer, which is the ship that I wanted to do this video in. So we're gonna make do with this footage of the caterpillar. You get a lot of shots of the interior while we're walking through it, while we're gonna be talking about what we're gonna be talking about, which is ship components in item 2.0 and beyond when all these little doohickeys, panels and things, a lot of people hope will come to life. Now, ships and ship components. And I'm also, t you know, I'm not just talking about guns, engines, shields, and a quantum drive. I'm talking about all the little nitty gritty pieces that go together to make the ship, all the things that can break or, you know, have issues that need to be repaired or just wear and tear. A lot of these things, you know, I'm glad that they're in the game. When you see all these panels lining the interior of the bridge, let's say the caterpillar, all the different little, you know, seeming little, where are they? Like little control panels like there beside the door or here down in the hallway. You have some that are marked as storage boxes. Others seem like they might be something that you would interact with, though what systems they govern. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's still a fairly undecided thing. I like having all those things here, but for the most part, for me, my idealization, my personal idealization of how this would work is that though you can interact with the major components, the engines and, you know, all that, I don't want to get to a level where I am forced to kind of go in and open up all these panels and rewire something if it gets broken. For me, I would be perfectly all right with if you're capable of doing that, if that's something that is a possibility within the game, but it's also a task that you can leave to NPCs. Like let's say I hire an NPC crew and or just one or two crew members whose job is maintenance and repair of battle damage so let's say after a battle you know the interior of your ship is damaged there's sparks and all kinds of nonsense going on there's a fire maybe and all this stuff and they just kind of automatically go in and start to handle that problem sure i can roll up my sleeves and get involved in that but I can also assign that duty out and know that it's going to get done and that I don't have to worry about it because while it's certainly something that will have its charm from time to time, I think if it were a daily chore that you had to do, it would make owning a vessel, even well, especially a large vessel like this, but even a small vessel like a fighter, it would start to become really tedious really fast. Now, obviously, I, I want to reinforce the fact that I understand that, um, you know, for certain people, that level of granularity is very attractive. I totally get it. I completely understand. I mean, certainly, you know, in my tours of the Herald and looking at all the different server racks and saying, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we could pull some of these out and we could get new and upgraded units like from Rudo or something like that that do a certain thing just a little bit better than the garden variety one and you know, that allows you to kind of specialize and get really good at this, that, or the other thing. I'm 100% in favor of those things. 100%. I get, you know, the, the desire to have those things. Certainly when we've talked about the Herald in the past and, you know, we've gone into Rudo's shop and then we've said, you know, hey, wouldn't it be cool if you could pull out these server decks in the uh, or blades or whatever in the uh, herald and replace them with different components that maybe let you crack codes faster or specialists in cracking a certain type of code or intercepting a certain type of transmission or just a little bit better at a very certain application of uh you know electronic warfare something that allows you to specialize and become very good in one area, 100% in favor of all these little things, all these little touches, which I think are great, which I think are fantastic, by the way. But 
at the same time maintaining all that stuff especially on a ship of this scale of this size i think it would be rather tedious after a while and so i would hope that as we can hire npcs that they can go around and just kind of handle these things for us they could be the ordinary crewmen the people who are crawling around in the jeffries tubes making sure everything's operating normally right and it would help bring ships to life to see that you know to see ordinary crewmen just walking around going about these kind of mundane tasks i think that you know it's important to have these panels that you can open and have things that you can upgrade maintain things that can become broken and things that require repairs and maintenance i absolutely agree with that but to the point where you know as a solitary captain of a ship you might have to spend a considerable amount of time tinkering with these things i understand that that appeals to a certain segment of the player base obviously but i think that this is one of the cases where the kind of the rule of cool could be applied and you know it would it would become something of an an optional thing or at least something that it wouldn't interfere too greatly with ship performance if you were all of a sudden forced to kind of handle these things where you could say okay well let's just try to get to the next spot and then we'll do the maintenance there we'll get uh, the station to do the maintenance on the ship hopefully if we make it there that might add some uh, some interesting possibilities I think it adds to the to the notion of the living spaceship. And I, I like that idea. I really, really do. I like the idea that there are going to be people going around within the spaceship, kind of handling th these things and bringing that ship to life. But I just hope that it, it isn't granular to a level where it's just tedious, you know? I would like the system to be more when you're interacting with all these components, when you're in there with the multi-tool or whatever, and you're kind of fiddling with things and trying to make things uh, perform better, you know, like, oh, if I tweak this a little bit, then maybe I'll get a little bit of extra fuel range, or maybe my engines will throw off less signature, things like that. That's where I would be very interested in interacting with these panels and interacting with all these different in-ship systems, you know, where you can, perhaps change the performance or swap out you know one subcomponent for another and then just kind of like okay this these new injectors in the engine you know they require a little bit more maintenance but they do give you that extra range they get you know they help you get more bang for your buck out of the engines things like that i think are things that are cool things that are interesting you know things that really i think impact your gameplay Whereas just kind of going through your ship and doing your daily chores like, you know, clean your room or no dessert, blah, blah, blah. That's boring. I, I don't I don't really for me personally, I don't really get into that. But if I can go through and I can, you know, take the one whole panel out and replace it with a, an upgraded module that I bought somewhere that has a definite impact on my gameplay, like better sensors better engines, better shields, or just shields that are more in tune with the weapons that I might run into in a certain area. Like, let's say, you know, the Van Duel are known to inhabit a certain part of space where I'm going and they're known to raid ships. Then if I get this component and I use this rather than component, you know, component A is better than component B for your shields in handling the kind of damage that the Van Duel put out, then I'm 100% all in favor of that because to me then that adds depth of gameplay and that that rewards you for skill and for knowledge and for putting in the extra you know effort to learn about these things study these things and then apply them in the game whereas just kind of going around and sweeping the floors and you know changing the light bulbs is not something that interests me at all and it's something that I would rather just hand off to just random NPCs I think that a system like that would it would help bring our ships to life. It would help make uh, the game more interesting. 
from my perspective, um, looking, you know, walking around the ship and seeing these random crew members going around dealing with the various maintenance tasks that need to be addressed on the ship. Whereas the more, you know, gameplay oriented tasks are things that are relegated to the players and the NPCs can just take care of the daily drudgery of, you know, maintaining a starship, especially the larger ones as we, you know, travel through space. I think that that would be a really cool way to implement it and that's the way I personally hope that it ends up. Anyways, that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Thank you, thank, you, thank you for watching. So, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.